Let's go over how to transform a coordinate vector from one basis to another. In the first problem, we're given the coordinate vector of v relative to the basis b, which is seen here. And we're going to find the coordinate vector v relative to this new basis, b prime. In the second problem, we do a similar thing, but we go the opposite direction, given the coordinates relative to b prime, and we'll find the coordinates relative to that basis b. In each case, we'll have to find the transition matrix from one basis to the other. So how do we find the coordinate vector v relative to this new basis b prime? Well, we're going to have to take the given coordinate vector, which is relative to the basis b, and multiply that by the transition matrix, which takes us from b to b prime. We go over finding the transition matrix from b to b prime in detail in another video. I'll leave a link in the description, but this is the process that we have to go through in order to find the transition matrix. It amounts to taking the standard basis vectors from the beginning basis b and expressing them as linear combinations of the new basis vectors u1 prime and u2 prime. We find that the first basis vector u1 can be written as 3 fifths u1 prime plus 1 fifth u2 prime. And so the coordinates of that standard basis vector relative to the new basis are 3 fifths and 1 fifth. And those make up the first column in our transition matrix. And then we find that the second standard basis vector u2 can be written as negative 2 fifths u1 prime plus 1 fifth u2 prime. And so those coefficients, negative 2 fifths and 1 fifth, that makes up the second column of our transition matrix. So the transition matrix between the bases is just the matrix whose columns are the old basis vectors relative to the new basis. Now let's take this transition matrix and go back up to our coordinate vector and transform it. All right, here is our transition matrix getting multiplied by the given coordinate vector. And so what we have doing this multiplication is 6 fifths plus 2 fifths and then we have 2 fifths minus 1 fifth. So finally, the transformed coordinate vector relative to the new basis, b prime, is 8 fifths, 1 fifth. In the next problem, we're given a coordinate vector v relative to the basis b prime, and we want to go the other direction, finding the coordinates of this vector relative to the basis b. Now, to do this, again, we'll need a transition matrix, and then we just have to multiply that by the coordinates that we know in order to transform it into the new basis. We could go through the same process I showed before to find the transition matrix, but another way to think of it is that the transition matrix from B prime to B just undoes the transition matrix from B to B prime, which we already found. So you could just take the inverse of this transition matrix. That would be the transition matrix going the other direction. Or you could do it the same way we did before, which I've outlined here. We just use Gauss-Jordan elimination, and we find this as the transition matrix from B prime to B. Note that in this example, I actually combined everything into one augmented matrix instead of using two augmented matrices like I did for the first transition matrix. Since we're trying to express both of these basis vectors in terms of the same new basis vectors, you can actually do this with just a single matrix, perform Gauss-Jordan elimination, and this is what we get for the columns of our transition matrix. Again, the transition matrix is just the matrix whose columns are the old basis vectors relative to the new basis. So once we find that, we just take this transition matrix, multiply it by the coordinate vector v relative to the basis b prime, and that will transform it into the new basis. Doing the multiplication, we have negative 3 plus 8, and then we have positive 3 plus 12. So finally, the new coordinate vector relative to that new basis b is positive 5, positive 15. And that's how to use a transition matrix to transform a coordinate vector from one basis to another. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.